Hey, hello, 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 past friends, welcome to my channel, this is professor with the double S, this is very important, dot in genero. Okay, welcome again, once more to my uh, course about derivatives, this, this is the fourth video of this course, and this will be about the properties of derivatives. Here I will explain all the properties, these six properties that we have and after this video we, we, we will be able to resolve any problem of derivatives, okay? In the first video, video I, uh, I taught you how to solve uh, potential and constant derivatives, in the second one logarithmic derivatives and after this one we could we will be able to solve any kind of derivative, okay? So let's explain these rules with examples, with solved, solved examples. I don't want to, to lose time because time is money and money is girls. So first property is linear combination rule, okay? If we have a function that is combination, combination of different functions, for example, f and g, and they are like in addition or a sub subtraction, the rule would be the next one here that I will explain with an example. Okay, if we have this function here, for example, fx equals 3x squared plus logarithm, Neperian logarithm of 5x, and the logarithm is power 3, okay? Okay, don't confuse this fx with this fx. This is just the formula, the definition, and, well, this is the function. Um, this is the function. I could have call, call it better 8, okay? This is 8x. So I need to identify uh, terms. Here we have the fx is this fx. And we have here the gx, the other function. So if they ask me to calculate the derivative of this function of hx, I will always write the derivative with this prime line here above. Uh, the important thing about this property is that you must know that the derivative of an addition is the derivatives is, is the addition of the derivatives of each term. Is it, that it means the derivative of this term plus the derivative of this other term, okay? This could be a minus, of course, no problem. So the derivative of this function is, first we derivate this, as I explained in the videos before. Please, if you haven't seen my videos uh, before, the previous videos, you must see them so you will understand the, this perfectly with no problems and troubles. So, the derivative of this function here is 2 multiplied by, by 3 is 6 because the number 2 goes down and multiplies the 3, 3 multiplied by 2 is 6, then x, and the power of x is 2 minus 1. We always need to decrease one unit to the power, so in this case, 6x plus. Now we need to derivate this function here, the number 3 goes down, and multiplies all this function, logarithm 5x and the power is 3 minus 1, it means 2, and then we need to multiply by the derivat derivative of what we have inside of this function. This is the chain rule that I will explain in the, uh, the last one, but we already know how to do the chain rule because since the first video we have always been applying the, ch the chain rule, if, even if we didn't notice about that, okay? So we need to multiply here by the derivative of this inner function, is the derivative of logarithm 5x, it is uh, 1 divided by x, okay? I explained this in my last video because the logarithm of 5x, we could write it applying the properties for logarithms, we could write it as logarithm of 5 plus logarithm of x and the derivative of logarithm of 5 is 0 because it's a constant, a constant number 
and always the derivatives of constants are zero, as I explained in my first video. And the derivative of logarithm of x is 1 divided by x. So this is, that's the reason why I wrote here 1 divided by x. Okay, you should, I repeat, you should see the previous videos. For example, also another um, example of linear combination rule, if we had this function here, uh, for example, my function x, hx is, uh, well, I'm sorry, this is the answer. This is the derivative of this first function. Uh, and now I will, I will give another example. If my function is this crazy function I'm writing here, 6 multiplied by x squared multiplied by 8 plus 4x, Okay, I'm going to apply this fun fun function again, this property, the linear combination rule, uh, but only we have one term. In this case, we have a fx. So the fx is this function here, is the function that depends on the x, and the a is the constant, is the number, this number here. So the derivative of this function, let's call it h prime, it's always the constant, as, as it is, always constants, we write them like they were before, after we derivate. And we need to multiply it by the derivative of the function depending on x. So the constant, I write it like it was before, and then I need to derivate just the function depending on x. In this case, 8x squared, the square goes down, multiplies to the 8, 8 multiplied by 2 is 16, x, the power is 2 minus 1 is 1, just like, it, like this, plus 4 because the derivative of 4x is 4. I'm going to explain, up, explain this now in the second property, is derivative of a constant, the, well, in the third one. First, the derivative of a constant is always zero. If we have a constant, any constant, derivative of a constant on the variable x is, we can write it also as c prime or any number, it will, it will always be zero. For example, if we derivate uh, five, the number five, the rate of five on x, it's zero. This is always like, this is very important property. Then property number three, derivative of a variable. Okay, if we have the variable x and we want to derivate it on the same variable, it's always one. This is a important, important property. The derivative of a variable on the same variable, it's always 1. For this reason, the derivative of 4x is 4, because the derivative of 4 is the, the constant. Just go outside, but the x, the derivative of x within on x is 1. So th that's the reason why the derivative of 4x is 4. Okay, let's go to the fourth rule, product rule. This is going to be now very interesting. Okay, the product rule. If we have, for example, this function here, okay, let's call it h. I should always call it h, just to be okay with the formulas that I wrote here. Okay, if we have this function here, 3x squared plus 5x, and this everything multiplied by 2x minus logarithm x. Very good. We want to derivate this, but we don't know how. I'm going to explain you how. We just need to apply the product rule. If we have a product of two functions, we need to identify the function. This will be fx, and this one here will be gx. So if we have two functions depending on x, and both are multiplied one to each, to each other, uh, the derivative is the derivative of the first function, f, f prime, multiplied by the second func function without derivative, just like it was before, plus the first function without derivative, just f, multiplied by g derivative, as it, it means the second function derivative. So let's apply this rule. We need to write the derivative of the first function. We derivate this. The derivative of 3x squared is 6x plus 5. As I explained before, uh, how to derivate this, I won't explain it again. Then we need to multiply it by gx, like 
it was before, so I multiplied by 2x minus logarithm of x, and then we need to add addition of the first function without deriva derivative. This means to write 3x squared plus 5x as it was before, multiplied by the second function derivative. So the, the second function derivative is 2 for 2x minus 1 divided by x for logarithm x. So this would be the answer, and this would be the derivative of this function that if we try to operate it and then der derivate it, we would uh, achieve this solution, but it would be much harder, okay? Much busy, much busy and much heavier. So let's go to the fifth rule, the quotient rule. If we have a function, um, a co quotient function, for example, this one here, 8x is 4 divided by x power 3 minus x and everything divided by 5x squared plus 2 everything power 2. Okay, we just need to apply, sorry I will put this better for you, we just need to apply this rule here the rule of, of the quotient, it says, it says that if we have a, co a quotient of functions, functions depending on, on x, in this case we need to identify fx will be this function here, the one in the denominator, and gx will be the function in the denominator. So, um, the derivative of this function will be the derivative of the function in the denominator multiplied by the function in the denominator minus the function in the denominator multiplied by the derivative of the function in the denominator and everything divided by the function in the denominator but power 2, the square, uh, the square power of the denominator function. So 8 prime x as I explained, this is easy. We, you must be impressed that this is so easy and it's always like this and when you practice these rules a lot, you will be able to solve anything you want in the lab, the peace problem, the war problem, everything. So, in this case, we just need to derivate the first function. Okay, how can we derivate 4 divided by, by x squared? We could write it like 4 multiplied by x power minus 3. This is the same as 4 divided by x squared. Okay, so now we can apply the rule, the minus 3 goes down, multiplying to 4, minus 3 multiplied by 4 is minus 12 x and then the x the power is minus 3 minus 1 it means minus 4 minus the derivative of x is 1 okay and this is the f prime x of this formula here now we need to multiply by gx so we multiply by 5x squared plus 2 squared then we need to subtract the first function without derivative. It means 4 divided by x power 3 minus x. And then multiply. Okay, I should put it here, but I will put it in the next line because I don't have enough space, I don't have enough room. This sheet of paper is sheet <laughs> in the other way of sheet. Okay. Uh, now I need to multiply by the derivative of the denominator. In this case, is 5x squared plus 2 squared 2. The square 2 goes down. Then the function, I write it like it is, 5x squared plus 2. And the power must be 2 minus 1. It means 1. I don't need to write it. And then I need to multiply by the inner function, the things we have inside. This is the chain rule that, the chain rule that I will explain next. So I need to multiply here by... The derivative of 5x squared, this is 10x. We need to put a parenthesis, so this will multiply everything. And, okay, plus the derivative of 2 is a constant, so it's 0. So multiply by 10x. And everything, this here and this here, divided. Okay, this was supposed to be a continuation on the right. Everything divided by the denominator Square. It means 5x squared plus 2 squared, but everything we need to uh, 
we need to power it to the square, to the square power. Okay, and this would be the answer for the derivative of this uh, first function here that was a caution. The last function I want, the last property I want to explain, and we don't need more properties really, is the chain rule. What is the chain rule? The chain rule is, is a function done that depends in another function. If we have this function f that depends on another function g and the function g depends on the variable x, then to derivate, to, to calc the derivative of this first function, we need to calc the derivatives of, of the function that depends on g and also multiply by the g. This is what we have been doing all the time since the beginning that I always uh, refer as multiplying by the thing inside, okay? And I'm going to explain with, a, with an example. In this example, we have this function. Logarithm 6x squared plus 1 divided by x squared, okay? Looking to the formula of the property, the definition, my h is everything, this is h, x, and we have the function f is the logarithm, is the, the f, but this f depends on a g, which is the g, this function here inside, that is 6x squared plus 1 divided by x squared. So the logarithm depends on this function g, f depends on g dx of x. So how can we derivate this? First, we need to derivate the f, and then we derivate the inner function, the g, and just multiply it. So first, the derivative of the logarithm, logarithm of this function, of course. So h prime, prime the derivative would be 1 divided by the logarithm, because this is the definition of the derivative of the logarithm. And now I just need to multiply here by the derivative of the inner function of g, g dx. And this is it's so easy, this is the chain rule. So I multiply here by the derivative of 6x squared. Uh, this is, mm, sorry, 6x x power 3. The derivative is 6 multiplied by 3. This is 18x squared. And then the derivative of 1 divided by, by x squared is the derivative of x power minus 2. If this is the same. So the derivative of this is minus 2x power minus 3. So I could write it here like minus 2x divided, sorry, x power minus 3. Or you can write it like 1 divided by x squared. It's exactly the same. So this would be the derivative. So easy. We just need like 30 cent seconds to, to calculate, but it wasn't an effort at all. And okay, now you just need to practice a lot of derivatives. After this video, you can do any, any exercise in the world. Okay, I just say goodbye. Uh, please like my channel, follow, uh, follow me, subscribe, sub subscribe to it, and uh, teach anybody that doesn't know about derivatives how to solve them and practice a lot. Goodbye, bye, 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 bye,